Buona attenzione. Okay. Motore partito, quando volete. Actually, I've got one personal question which is going to affect how I see this film for the rest of my life. Was how do you justify the minivan, the man, the van, being shot at with a gazillion bullets and no one ever getting hit except once? Is there a logic in that, or is that just...? <laughs> well, I think, uh, I suppose the logic would be that, you know, if you're constructing a, an action scenario in your dream, uh, you might well like to imagine, as we do in films so often, that the bad guys don't shoot as well as the good guys, certainly. Because they shoot really appallingly for quite a long time. So, okay, <laughs> I'm now going to the next time I see it, I'll be watching it going, okay, Mr. Nolan said... Not so much in the van, actually, as in the, in the, the skiing around yeah. and stuff. The van, there's not, not that many gunshots there. It feels like a lot because oh. we cross-cut oh. it. But, uh, I mean, well... And if you count them, you'll count a lot more in the ski, okay, <laughs> the ski that level was... than you do there. All right, OK, I'm going to quote you from the New York Times a few months ago, July probably, you probably deny all night of saying this, but you actually said, this is a film I first pitched at the studio probably nine years ago, and I wasn't really ready to finish it. I need more experience in making big movies. My question is, what is the nature of the experience of making a big movie? A lot of the nature of the experience of making a big movie is confidence. A lot of it is knowing the things you can do. And a lot of that confidence, a lot of what you develop, is actually learning that you can do things the way you do them in small films on a big scale. But you actually have to go through the process of, of uh, you know, reinventing that for yourself and finding a context and a way to do that within the, the big machine of a, of a huge movie. Um, and also a lot of it is, is knowing that you can do more things in camera, that you can achieve uh, larger scale set pieces and action and so forth. You don't have to immediately go to visual effects to do things and, uh, and not being daunted by the things. So I, I suppose the main thing is confidence, really. You were intimidated going into ba Batman Begins? And oh yeah, very much. I mean, we were really, not just me, but a lot of the people that, that I was working with and I've worked with over the years, you know, it was a a much larger thing than, than we'd ever taken on and so you do that carefully and you do that with the appropriate amount of amount of fear you know uh, but you like to challenge yourself with with any film because it's what keeps you focused on it and i think it's what makes people give of their best while they're working this is one has been compared for reasons maybe justified unjustified with memento can you tell us about how you feel about that comparison and actually for me personally more importantly how you now look back on memento well, I view the comparison as very valid. Um, I think it, I like the fact that people make the connection because the things are connected for me because when I finish Memento, uh, and this answers your second question really, I think, um, one of the things that was very striking to me about taking Memento out to the festival circuit and then the you know, distribution of it was that it connected with audiences in a very mainstream way, that it gave them an entertaining experience. And it immediately occurred to me uh, going through the experience of putting that film out, that you could do a film that employed that kind of storytelling, that kind of relationship with the audience, the, the feeling of complexity or conceptual uh, adventurousness or whatever you want to call it, but on a grand scale, a big, big scale action, you know, adventure movie that, that uh, similarly uh, took the audience on a, on a journey they hadn't quite experienced before or whatever. And so Inception was very much my attempt to do that. It took me a long time to figure out how to do it, but uh, the things are very connected in my mind, and they're both uh, intended to be very mainstream audience experiences. Was it like pre-memento and post-memento for you? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I, I think I've been very fortunate in my career that things have, you know, from my first film following, you know, through Memento, right, through to where we are um, at the end of Inception, uh, for me, it's been a very natural and, you know, uh, somewhat gradual progression in a way, both creatively and in terms of budgets and things like that. And I think I've been very, very fortunate to, uh, to be able to kind of, you know, grow what I wanted to do uh, at the pace that uh, I have. I thought I had five. Do I have five or do I have four? I was still four. I did not know. That's it. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> A quickie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.